My name is Jeff Freeman. I'm the assistant prosecutor assigned to the case of State of West Virginia versus William Horton, Jr. First of all, the, the people who are assisting you on your team. Um, Ms. Blair News and Wise um, is another assistant prosecutor in our office, and um, she is uh, co-counsel for uh, the prosecution. Um, she's handling uh, a couple of the witnesses that she's had previous dealings with, and uh, um, she'll handle those during the trial. Okay. And um, we have some other personnel that have helped with uh, the technological equipment, uh, and that we have an assistant prosecutor who is um, uh, very adept at the, the computer um, and the technology resources available in the courtroom. Uh, her name is Jenny Matko, and you've okay. probably seen her in the courtroom. Yeah. Now, um, you've gone through what, three witnesses today? Yes, I think that's correct. Uh, in your opinion, how's it going? Um, the testimony. It's, I think that the testimony uh, uh, from each of the witnesses has, has came out well. Um, it, it's came out a little slowly at, at some stages. Some, uh, it's just based on the content of their testimony. Mm -hmm. uh, some is uh, more easily uh, done in a narrative form, and uh, some is kind of a stop and start and explanation of exhibits, such as Detective Lewis, who um, had a, a very lengthy testimony all, uh, uh, because he. Uh, did a video that was mm -hmm. 17, 18 minutes long, mm -hmm. um, and then he was the one who photographed all the items of evidence yeah. collected and uh, those things. So it was a very tedious process, but um, that, it, that's just part of the part of the process. It went from very emotional with Miss Sanders to very technical with Mr. Hassenfeller. Yeah, that that is expected, and uh, mm -hmm. she has a uh, obviously a, a, a vested. Uh, interest in the case since mm -hmm. the, the, all these traumatic events happened to her, whereas the detectives are, are, are kind of neutral, detached uh, collectors of information, and um, particularly with uh, uh, the cell phone evidence, mm -hmm. that's uh, particularly kind of dry evidence. Oh, and it uh, concludes, uh, continues tomorrow. Yes, we do continue tomorrow. We'll, we'll um, start with some uh, in chamber things at 8 30, and uh, the, the trial with the jury should commence at 9 o'clock. Do you expect it to go to the jury tomorrow? Uh, we hope so. Hope but, uh, so. There's, a, there, I think, a good chance that we'll finish tomorrow, but uh, if not, we'll, we'll do whatever the court tells us to. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. My name is David Demos. I'm defense counsel for William Horton. For people who aren't familiar with the case, in a nutshell, what is Mr. Horton um, on trial for? Uh, the grand jury handed a, uh, an indictment down against uh, Mr. Horton, and uh, keep in mind an indictment is only probable cause, mm -hmm. and the jurors uh, in all trials are instructed to uh, view uh, an indictment with uh, the proper caution. It is only a, a charge, and certainly it's why we're here today and tomorrow to hear all the evidence of, to ensure that Mr. Horton does get a, a fair trial. And he is on trial for? Uh, he's currently on trial for uh, an indictment which involved two counts uh, of armed robbery. They're also alleging two counts of uh, burglary, one count of alleged kidnapping, mm -hmm. and also one count of uh, alleged conspiracy to commit a felony. How did it go today, in your opinion? I believe it went well. Mm -hmm. It went well. It was uh, predictable. Um, going as uh, as uh, I had uh, scheduled, mm -hmm. and uh, anticipate that uh, things will also go smoothly tomorrow, and also to the conclusion of, of the trial, whenever that may be. Anything else, sir? That's all. Thank you, Sarah.